These Easter goodie bags are so incredibly easy to make and they are a great alternative to an Easter basket. If you just want to give a little gift or give something to teens and tweens, these are the perfect solutions. So here's how to make it. Sizes are customizable, so you can do it to whatever size you want. I chose a seven by 15 inch long piece of fabric that I folded in half. You can do two smaller squares and then just create a seam on the bottom with a three eighths inch seam allowance. Now I'm measuring two inches down from the top of that folded piece of fabric uh, with the open ends on the top and then three eighths of an inch in. So this is important. You're using a three eighths of an inch seam allowance and you just cut right there at that part where that is two inches down from the cut ends on the top and three eighths of an inch in. This is gonna be banking the drawstring casings. Now you fold those um, little tabs over uh, as I am doing in the video. At this point, you could open up that fabric to be one long rectangle piece of fabric. I didn't do it in the video, but it would probably make it a little bit easier. So as I'm showing, you wanna fold down that cut portion and you bring the edge to that area where you cut. This is gonna be making that drawstring casing. So pin that fabric down, otherwise it might move around a little bit while you are trying to sew it. And just do this on both ends of the fabric. Now you are gonna be doing a seam or sewing along the fabric right along the edge. You don't want a 3 eighths of an inch seam. Um, you just want it to just catch that fabric and be real tight and close to the edge. Then fold the fabric again in half, match up the edges. You want those right sides in, and then sew a 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance down both long sides. You wanna start right there where the cut edge is and then go all the way down. And you are gonna do this on both sides of the fabric. Remember to backstitch at the top and end because this bag might get some wear and tear. Now, in order to reduce bulk, we're gonna be cutting the corners off. Just be sure not to cut the seam to the bag, but that'll give you a little bit more room in order to push those corners out when you turn the bag inside out, and then use your fingers or a turning tool to get those corners pushed out so that they're nice and crisp and um, look squared off. So now it is time to add the ribbon for the handle. So you just kind of eyeball it and see how long you want the ribbon to be. Then you want to double that. Okay, so I didn't do the tutorial well with the video with the other ribbon, so I'm gonna show you with a different bag. So I took the ribbon and I put a large safety pin on the end, then you start drawing that ribbon through the bag casing. You start on one side. You can also use something called a sewing bodkin to do this, but I just use a safety pin. And you kind of push it through with your fingers, kind of like an inchworm almost. At the end where those seams are, the safety pin often gets a little caught up. So just work that through. So pull that ribbon through until there's just a few inches left at the end. Then you loop it around, and then you are going to draw it through the other casing in the opposite way. Again, pushing that safety pin through, inching it along like an inchworm, and then pulling it out. Now, as I'm showing this, you're probably thinking, that ribbon is too big for that casing. Well, I wanted it to be kind of like a thick, really luxurious look. I could have made the casing bigger. In that case, you would just want to add a little bit more dimension um, to your fabric before you cut it. So now with another piece of ribbon that is the same length, we're going to go in the opposite direction. You are wanting to start on the side that has that looped piece of ribbon on it. So put the safety pin in through the casing on that way and draw it so that there's the cut end that's just hanging out. And then again, like before, you're gonna loop it through into the other casing. And you can see this is the side that has the cut ends of the first piece so now it's going to have the looped side of the ribbon after i draw it through so when you are done you're going to have um, cut ends on either side and then a loop on either side if that makes sense so now that you have those cut ends you're going to want to tie those off into a knot and finish it and then just trim off the excess of the ribbon to make it nice and tidy so this is what it's going to look like to have that drawstring bag um, it's super easy to do once you get the hang of it you'll be able to do it in no time at all 
and then all you do is just cinch it up and it is so easy to make. Once you get the hang of this, I think you can make these in like 10 to 15 minutes. They are literally that incredibly easy and you can customize it to whatever size that you want, as tall, as short, as wide, as narrow that you'd like. I used some to put in some of the um, candy rabbits as well as tiny little candies. You do you. And if you prefer some written instructions and seeing it in a photo step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll put a link to the directions in the comments below. There's also a download ebook that you can get for your convenience.